Hey guys, super uh, short video today. So um, I've been thinking about the channel all day and I'm really excited about it. I just got a new microphone for the camera up here so I should sound a lot better than I normally do. Um, I thought tonight that I would take some photos of, we'll show you guys what I'm, what kind of like my photo setup for now. So this is our dining room table, which as you can see has been taken over by the light box. And this is just a little $20 light box, maybe 40 that I got on Amazon a few years ago. Um, it's called the Elviros. Really, really convenient. Um, and this has just got currently got like a black background in it, a black backdrop. And what I'm shooting right now is a bunch of photos of these old coins that I got, these guys here. Now, the problem with shooting these is that the plastic cover it's really hard to focus in on these, as you can see the camera struggling doing it even right now. And so when I'm taking photos, it's really difficult. That said, I'm gonna power through it. So I've got some pretty cool coins in here. I've got a bunch of old like Indian head coins from the early, uh, the turn of the century. Let's see here if I can show you guys. So this is, this is a 1902 um, Indian head penny. I'm trying to see if I can get this, keep this in focus here. It's really frustrating that I can't. Um, I will show you some photos that I took if they turned out well, like after this, um, at the end of this video here, I might splice that in. Yeah, it's not being able to focus on any of this right now, which is super annoying because these are really friggin' cool looking. Um, come on, come on, you can do it. Okay, well, not happening. Not happening. Um, so yeah, super short video. Just wanted to show you guys that. Suit in some, uh some of my coins and I've got this whole box here of stuff that I've had sitting for five or six years in this box. I'm going to show you guys some of what I got in here. Let's see. This is pretty cool. This is a Nixon Agnew bumper sticker from the 70s. Um, these little guys all these are. They didn't sell very well when I tried this game last time. It was kind of creepy, like their eyes open and close. All right, look at that. Ooh. It's hard to see. I'm gonna tilt them, their eyes open. Kind of cool. I've got a few of them. I've got some little, little Peter Pan dolls. Two of these guys. All right. I've got a Mickey Mouse one. I'm assuming these are obviously some kind of Disney thing. But I'm sure it says the year on here. I'll take a photo of it and show you guys. I can't see that right now. This one's still in its package. Yeah, it's been opened. So it looks like Madame Alexander. So these are not that old. So they've got English and Spanish on the container, which I'm assuming means that they're pretty, pretty, uh, 2003. So 15, 16 years old, not that old. But there might still be a collector's market for them. Another one of these like leopard, leopard dolls. A bunch of little like little pins here, which are going to be fun to take photos of. Enamel pins are doing a lot. These are really popular nowadays. Um, okay, there we go. That might sound better on the video. Uh, let's see. This is an old postcard that I had framed, and by framed I mean literally I put it in a frame. So I will take it out and sell it. I think just as it is. These are pretty cool, just some old art. Got some Harry Potter cards in here, no judgment. I've got a box full of these. This is such a fun card game to play. If you guys never played this, I played it back with my roommates in the mid 2000s. Really, really fun, really, really fun. Um, man, there's so much to show in here. I've got a bunch of old photographs. Um, I feel bad throwing stuff like this away because I know that this was someone's family at some point, but look at these, these were people. You know, I know it sounds corny, but these people had lives and it's just, I feel really sacrilegious if I were just to toss these. Um, these, some more really old photos. People dressed up for Halloween. Can't show that one. I know that's some old, some old nude pictures actually. Look at this lady. Look at her. Wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Looks like Nurse Ratchet. Anyway, tons of old photos, so those are going to be fun. I know I've got some old war photos in here from World War II that are really interesting. Some actual like action shots from uh, U.S. 
um, army guy throwing a bomb in a tank. This is an Old West photo. Isn't that amazing? I'll, I'll, sh I'll go in more into detail about these. Once I actually take them, I'll show you guys what these are. Um, let's see what else I got here. I mean, there's so much, so much. This, check this out. This, this is a sketch. And this sketch is from 1823. Look at that. Someone just sketched a, a church and someone sketched a sailboat. 1823. I'm trusting what the guy at the estate sale sold these to me for. These weren't cheap back when I bought them. Um, there was a ton of ephemera, I think is what it's called when it's paper stuff. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. I've got this uh, World War II vet pin, commemorative pin here. And I think that this is where some of those war photos are gonna be. This is kind of cool. I really like this. This looks modern, but it's, it's very old. It's from the 50s or the 60s. Little wonder book. Clothes from trees. Let's see, what a pretty tree you're wearing. Yes, you could really say this to the girl in the picture above. The girl is wearing a rayon dress. Some kinds of rayon are made from ground up wood. Other kinds are made from cotton. Some rayon even comes from corn cobs. That's crazy, I didn't know that. It was very cool. Um, and we just got, we have so much, so much, too much to go through on this here, but I just wanted to give you guys like a taste of the photos and things that I'm gonna be listing over time here. and. Some of these look like they're empty, but they're not. Oh, I got a ton of old postcards in here. These are gonna be really cool to post. I might post those as a lot rather than individual. It's one of those things where I don't have the time to post individuals, and I don't know if I'd make any profit off that. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, I will post this video as soon as possible, but I wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm shooting tonight, which has turned out to be a bit of a struggle in shooting these coins, even though they're in protective in the protective uh, cases here, it's really hard to focus in on the object. So, but again, like I said, I'll show you guys all the photos I took of these um, later. All right. Thanks for watching.